this is Alan Explains Twilight. After not seeing the movies or reading the books, right, this from... is all secondhand knowledge that I have. Okay, so we're gonna try this. I'll, I'll take the back. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, so we begin with this girl named Bella or something, and she's like really plain and dumb, and there's no reason anyone should like her, but everyone's gonna fall in love with her just because you need you need a protagonist that whoever's reading the book can like project onto and pretend that that's going on. It's so, not true. This is all biased. <laughs> you need to just stick to the plot. Sir. Okay, I'm sorry. And I'm getting. I have some crit studies background with we're my cinematic arts minor. We're just okay. The so Bella's this dumb girl who doesn't do, do anything. Um, <laughs> supposed to be a vampire. She goes to a school in, I'm starting to bring in the trailers. I guess I've seen the trailer maybe. She goes to a school in this place that doesn't get very much sunlight, which I guess is good for the vampires because if they're in sunlight, their skin gets sparkly. Uh, they're, they're not like actual vampires. They're these really stupid kind of romanticized vampires where they don't die in the sun and you can't stake them in the heart because their skin's like rock hard and they're super fast and super strong and immortal. And everything's perfect except, I guess, their blood is made of acid or something, even though they're dead. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Is, is their blood made of acid? No. Their blood is totally like made out of acid. It, like, they don't specify you. that anywhere. No, 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 no. Because in the third book, when Bella becomes a vampire, she can't put contact lenses anymore because her eye juices eat away at them. I know, but they don't like explicitly hey, say, These, this part. is acid, acid blood. <laughs> they well, don't it say burns that. away contacts. Acid blood, that's what. Logical. Because <laughs> of the blood on your eyes. <laughs> that's the only thing that burns Ed, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, so then this guy named Edward shows up in her school and uh, no, she shows up at Edward's school. No, you can't correct me. This is, this is, this is <laughs> how it goes. So, <laughs> go ahead. So Edward shows up at her school, and um, I guess he like saves her from a car. That was in the trailer, right? And uh, he can't have done that if he was a regular human, <clears throat> obviously. So she determines that he's a vampire, and then they become super into each other, and. The problem is there's more than one kind of vampire clan, like I guess, I guess Edward's part of the good vampires and they like drink animal blood and they don't eat humans, but there's like another clan of vampires and they totally eat humans and so they're fighting each other and everyone's fighting over Bella for some reason even though she's a dumb person who doesn't do anything and so they try and kill Bella and Edward saves Bella and then Bella's like, let's have sex. And then Edward's like, no, we gotta wait till we're married. And so that happens later. And <laughs> why why does he say, let's wait? He's because... really old fashioned because he's a vampire and immortal. He was a vampire like a hundred or two hundred years ago or something ridiculous. So he like has a odd way of speaking and he's really like old timey. <laughs> does that make any sense? Does that happen? Uh yeah, kinda. I would say he's old timey. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, old so he just pretty great. So <laughs> So much to the chagrin of of the wolf guy, there's a werewolf. There's like an Jacob. Indian Native American Jacob werewolf guy, but he's not a werewolf yet. In that book, he's like a nerd, and he really super he, hot. He likes Bella, not in the first, because he doesn't get buff and werewolf until later. So in the first book or movie, he's like this nerd who's into Bella, but Bella doesn't care because he doesn't have muscles or superpowers. And um, Bella's, Bella's got a particular type. Bella sucks. She's a terrible female protagonist. Like, I mean, it's it's a fact. If we want to compare like Bella to Katniss, Katniss is superior in every way: critical, real personality, any any way. So that's what Twilight is, is a terrible thing for girls to read and poison their minds with. And that was my purely non-critical <laughs> explanation. Non-judgmental, non unbiased. Alan's, Alan's objective explanation of Twilight. Thank you, Alan. <laughs>